Welcome back Doom fans to more real learning Doom map editing with the GZ Doom Builder. The link to said program is in the description below. In the last episode we created some new neat doors as well as dabbing, dabbing slightly with Slade to add sound file to our WAD. Today we shall tackle the not insignificant task of creating 3D floors, also called room over room, because you can use it in that fashion. I will start this session with a little example of how it, how it could be utilized, and then I will show you how to create your first platform. GZ Doom Builder bugged out on me at one point, and I used half an hour to search for the problem as I had previously made several 3D floors with no trouble at all. In the end I restarted the program and things, things worked perfectly. So do not underestimate the reset button. Just remember that the program is a fan project and considered a beta, even if it no normally works well. So with no further ado, let's get started, shall we? You will notice it's <laughs> it's nothing much really. Uh, potential is better, could be better, but this is just to show you how I can, or how it could be uh, utilized. Lots of empty space here. Of course there would be enemies and such here. Well, that was a large room. This is a short one. <laughs> it has a low ceiling. And an elevator. Let's use the elevator. What do you know? There's a second floor. Would be full of enemies if I could have been bothered. And a second floor room. Can take the elevator back down. There are several rooms with rooms over room, but that is an example. Uh, using uh, sectors and uh, tags and dummy sectors. <sighs> right. I've actually recorded this once already. Or, well, I recorded the audio, but not the visuals. So, uh, so there. <laughs> anyway, let us go. to uh, our tutorial main map and let us create a room let's create a platform uh, or at least the sector will be a platform eventually. We will create a dummy sector, and there we have our setup for a simple platform in the middle of our room. So, to set this up, we will need to set. Um, tag let's use a tag of 50 because i know i haven't used that one uh, remember to have a list of your tags there is um just looking uh, view use tags it will show you the tags used and uh, in which textures it you yeah yeah there it kept telling me to use one, but it is in use, you can see that. One to seven is in use, and then 50, which we are using now. Anyway, back to 
our 3D floor uh, demonstration. It doesn't matter which line you uh, right click on, but I usually click on the one nearest to the sector. I this will uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, we will need one sixty sector three D floor. If you want to, if you wonder where you can find it, it's under sector and about this far down. Um, if you remember the number, it, you can just punch it in. The sector we we chose was 50. There are different types. We will stick with solid. Uh, there are some other options. I haven't played with those. And opacity, so under 255 is fully solid zero it would be invisible there are no other um, uh, options we want to focus on in here now you will notice that our tag 50 sector got some red corners and you will see that our line intersects or reacts with the sector. Let's go into visual mode and take a look. Oh, looks like we made a fancy uh, platform. We can't edit this in here though. We will need to use the dummy sector to manipulate that so let's find our dummy, se dummy sector select the floor and with our um, scroll wheel we can oh my what do you know we can walk under it now and as with floor the ceiling will, lo will lower its top so we can make a platform. We can make it as thin as this. I did that in the other video uh, to uh, not get any uh, texture overlap from the two floors. But for now let's keep it um, Let's keep it at this level. As as with the heights, the textures of this dummy sector also is what the texture that will be showing here. You can't change. Well, I guess you can try to change here, but I would suggest you change the textures in the dummy sector so we can change the wall texture to something like steps and if we look into a room you will see that we now have st step one as the texture step lad one I guess as with those we can change oh we did, didn't really have to select those uh, can uh, but anyway um, flat um, about this There we go. Now our platform has 
It didn't match the sides exactly, but uh, good enough. How will it look in game, I wonder? Well, you have seen how it works already, but let's have a look. We can go under. We can shoot it even. We can't go on top of it because it's too high, but you could put in uh, stairs or uh, an elevator or something. And, uh, well, this is the, this is a very basic platform, but you can expand and create something uh, spectacular, even, well, he, he, I would say even better than mine, but that was also a very basic, really. I have room and possibly the talent to expand it if I want to, but I'm playing with another map already uh, using some 3D platforms I haven't gone very far yet, but I will work work with it on my in my spare time not the one I showed you, but another one so I guess you have the basic knowledge of how to create a 3D platforms now. I will not go into more detail in this video, but in the future I might do a detailed 3D platform tutorial to show off some other functions. For now, this was your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye, guys. <laughs>